Ever wondered how pilots navigate safely and efficiently in the sky? The answer, in part, lies in a document named Annex 15 to the Convention on International Civil Aviation. This document, published by the International Civil Aviation Organization, provides the standards and recommended practices for the establishment and operation of Aeronautical Information Services, or AIS for short. Diving into Annex 15, the first section outlines the objectives and scope of AIS, emphasizing the need for accurate and comprehensive aeronautical information to support flight planning, navigation and operation. It's all about ensuring compliance with international standards and recommended practices. Next comes the organization and management. This part covers the structure and responsibilities of AIS providers, including the establishment of AIS units within civil aviation authorities or designated service providers, along with the requirements for staffing, training and quality management systems. Then we have the Aeronautical Information Publications, or AIPs. These are official publications containing aeronautical information relevant to a specific state's airspace. Annex 15 specifies the content, format and distribution of these essential documents. Following the AIPs, Annex 15 outlines procedures for NOTAMs or Notices to Airmen. These provide time-critical information on changes or hazards affecting the safety of flight operations. The document emphasizes the importance of timely dissemination of these notices to ensure accessibility for all airspace users. Pre-Flight Information Bulletins, or PIBs, are the next point of focus. These bulletins consolidate relevant aeronautical information for a specific flight route or area of operation, enabling pilots to access essential information for flight planning and decision-making. The document then delves into Aeronautical Information Management, or AIM. This section focuses on the management of aeronautical information through AIM systems, which facilitate the collection, processing, storage, and dissemination of aeronautical data. Quality Management Systems, or QUMS, forms the next part. Annex 15 requires AIS providers to implement QMS frameworks to maintain the quality and reliability of aeronautical information services. Finally, with the increasing use of digital technology in aviation, Annex 15 addresses the provision of Electronic Aeronautical Information Services, or EAIS. This includes the development of EAIPs, digital NOTAM distribution systems, and online information portals. In short, Annex 15 is crucial in standardizing the provision of aeronautical information services worldwide. It ensures that airspace users have access to accurate, timely and reliable information which is essential for safe and efficient flight operations. It's the backbone of aviation safety, regularity and efficiency at an international level.